Welcome everybody, welcome. And I just, I'm so excited that I am joined today by my dear friend, Michelle Fernandez. I'm so mm -hmm. excited to introduce you to her as you join us for, to listen into our conversation about Michelle's journey and to hear her wisdom um, that she has got for you. Cause I know that uh, your journey will be really um, helpful for people that are, are on the same path. So Michelle, do you want to introduce yourself, tell everybody a little bit about you know, yourself and what you do? Um, so I'm Michelle Fernandez. I come from Goa, India. Uh, I've been in the UK for the last four years, uh, from 2017. And um, from there, I started my uh, journey of um, exploring the spiritual side of things. Um, I used to suffer from asthma for 34 years of my life, uh, since the age of three. And... Uh, one day I walked into a, um, um, I just saw a Facebook invite and I walked into uh, an event. It was a three-day event and I walked in and by the time I walked out on the third day, I, I never again after that got asthma. So that's what started this whole spiritual journey for me. And I went on learning more and more about it. And I wanted to understand all healing aspects. Uh, so here I am. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's just incredible whenever you hear how someone has got to be where they are. And the that healing that you received is must have blown your mind yes, at yes. that moment. Because I, I had tried all the other um, avenues, you know, like um, mm. allopathy, Ayurveda, homeopathy. And being in India, I tried all this stuff. Um, but it wasn't affecting me and I didn't realize until then that it was an energy thing. So once I understood it, I wanted fully in, I wanted to understand everything about it. <laughs> and then it was, it was uh, like, you know, it's like you, you don't need those far-fetched degrees to get people, you know, in a state of balance and harmony. And that was my main realization. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So what do you do now? Um, so I've uh, studied the Akashic Records uh, course with Louisa. And uh, it was a very expansive experience. It changed the way I look at myself first. Mm -hmm. um, I've been through all three levels. Level one, where I get to read it for myself. Level two, where I get to, get to read it within the group. And level three is where I reach out to other people and do um, uh, read their energy as well. And uh, it's like, it, it kind of expands you, like, you know, like how much more is possible. Uh, you understand that. And also like, you know, the um, instead of like other practices where you have to be really mindful about bringing about change, uh, you need to be mindful for that. Here it is, you can, you can bring about change by just being um, with ease and grace and harmony <laughs> <laughs> and speed, you know, that's what's important. Yes, yes. yeah, that's, do you know what, you've touched on something that a lot of practitioners who um, I work with and, and train when they cash it records, who come from a number of different energy healing modalities very experienced across the piece they really recognize the frequency shift that they're in a different consciousness and it's being in that different field yeah. <laughs> that where everything like you were saying speeds up and that it can be easy it doesn't have to be hours and hours and hours of drawn out healing as it were and of course, it's up to the soul that is ready to receive the amount of healing that it's ready to receive. But through the training that we coach you on is being able to really help people to guide them through that so that they don't let the resistance come up and block so them from so receiving me, one all of my, they are ready to receive. So for me, one of my personal experiences was I had this pain around my uh, chest, which was going from front to mm -hmm. back. And uh, it was hurting me for some while. And it felt like, you know, like how a horseshoe is going around it. Like it felt like that. Yeah. And I took it into the records and it 
although I tried it, I tried doing it on my own and it didn't happen. So I took it with a fellow um, uh, consultant and uh, she was able to shift it very fast. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's the gift of being able to go into the Akashic Records for yourself and, and also being able to read them for others. Yes. Um, I know that in the conversations that we've had, some people are like, I find it easier to read other people's records. Sometimes people are saying, I find it easier to do, to do my own. <laughs> and it's all practice and developing that skill set, for sure. That's amazing. So that, that has healed and, and gone. Yes, yes. From what you were saying. Some, sometimes yeah. I also oh, find amazing. Yeah. Sometimes I also find that you know if you have not touched uh, like um, you still need to explore it a bit further, and then you probably need to take it in an in another session. But you know that's as far as it goes. But it's not like you know you need to do uh, months and months of healing on it. But it's it's very fast. You know what I found as well is sometimes we'll take something into the akashic records. And it might feel like it's a big thing at the time. We receive the healing, we get the transformation, we're aligned to the divine truth of um, where our soul is calling us to, to go. And because things feel so easy, we can sometimes then forget how we were feeling before, if that makes sense. Yeah. Before yeah. that session. And that's where I think like capturing all your notes from the sessions and stuff can really help you go back and go, oh yeah, that's where it's almost like pinpointing the, the journey of the transformation, being able to map it out from that moment in time. Yeah. And also like, you know, whenever it. I'm in my own records, I, I'm like, uh, okay, all this information I'm getting, is it my mind? Or is like you have that small dilemma going on, but you know, you go to the same information, you go to the same page where you write down the notes, whatever information you're getting, and you go to it after another 10 days, and then you realize it, okay, this is not me. This is coming mm -hmm. from some other place. It's coming from some higher frequency, you know? Yeah. And it is, it's often people will ask me that question of, um, you know, what's my intuition and what's the Akashic Records? When you work in the Akashic Records, outside of the records, your intuition is going to ramp up yeah. like a million fold, a million fold. And um, that's one of the sort of uh, benefits. Every time you're going into the records, you're receiving a frequency, frequency tune up so that you can manifest more quickly. I know since I've started working in the records, my, my manifesting has, has gone through the roof, which is why I combine the Akashic Records with helping people with their manifesting practices and giving them that framework to really help them break through those upper income, upper income limits. Yeah. Um, but that, yeah, your in, the intuition piece is going to uh, be amplified. So you, not only have you got that connection with your higher self and your uh, that inner guidance, but then you've also got that that next level frequency, and you're downloading information that you couldn't possibly intuitively know. If that makes sense. Yes. 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 I, I know through some of the stories that people have shared, it's blown their minds when they <laughs> when they're able to give that validation to each other um, from from the reading. Yeah, and uh, another thing I've noticed is uh, like a. Uh, uh, you know, when I, my first introduction to the Akashic Records is um, someone told me that you can just go to a YouTube video and uh, you, you can you'll start downloading. If you go through the med meditation, you'll start downloading the information in the records. And I tried it and nothing, nothing was coming through. So then I decided I want to do this and I went to a proper course with you, all three levels. Mm -hmm. And um, I realize it's much more than just listening to a meditation. You know, you need a proper pathway to it. You need to have a, mm. uh, like, you know, um, the quality of the questions you ask, the depth you are ready to explore, um, the clarity, your own channel of clarity, you know, how clear is your mm. channel and uh, how, uh, like, you know, what are the senses or the, the clairs you are attuned to? So all those things matter. And, um, Louisa kind of um, she takes you like you know she directs you in a nice uh, way uh, so that all these things come online like you're going bing 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 in <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love how you um, did describe that um, in terms of how the the alignment comes through for everybody in the yeah. in the in the training. What would you say to you know coach or an entrepreneur who is wanting to to learn to read the Akashic records? Are they curious to find out more about the Akashic records? What advice would you have for them? Um, I would say go for it, and uh, especially this. Um, the whole like the the course that Louisa teaches it comes from the Jennifer Longmo Academy and it's I would like to say it's really well um it's something that's channeled um mm -hmm. well conceptualized and well thought out and brought about in a very nice way um so it's something that you'll be able to do you know and she gives you as much time to uh, get yourself calibrated and do it at your own time. And uh, I've, I've seen how it works when it doesn't work. There was a time when I, uh, like two months after uh, going through the course and I was removing wallpaper and that all those fumes, they were quite toxic for me, you know, and I lose uh, my connection to the cash records. So she helps you out through that. And uh, she she explains what, what are the things that affect your, um connection as well and um, i got to see that firsthand that you know if there is anything toxic in your environment it affects you yeah big time yeah it can surprise people can't it yeah. um, i've been helping people reconnect quite a lot over the last <laughs> few months with all the things that have been yes. going on yes. <laughs> oh michelle thank you so much for sharing your you know your journey and your inspiration and i'm so excited for all that you are creating for yourself and for your future what's what are you what are you most grateful for i guess in terms of this spiritual journey that you're on uh, so with regards to the akashic records i would say i'm most grateful for that kind of intimate connection and that is something i really longed for some like um, having gone through this um, and having readings on myself from other consultants in my groups, I realized that this is something much more intimate, you know, like they could tell me things like these people could have not known because they have not known me. These people, these connections just come about randomly, you know, not actually so randomly. <laughs> they are meant to be. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, like they have no idea what you've been or what is your past life history or like, I mean, what you've done in the past in this lifetime, but they can go into the records and access that information for you. And that has happened. That, that is something that I've personally experienced. And uh, like, for example, once in a reading, it came through that I need to work on, and she was getting this information, needle and thread. So that was something very specific to me because I I have a lot of know-how of how to produce comments and all that. And that was something the record keepers were telling me that I need to work on more in the coming three years and have to set up a business with regards to that. And uh, also, like, you know, there are those intimate details, like they know your, uh, the shade of... Uh, you, the color like you know right down to the shade of what it is like that you love the most those minute details also I had other details come through like you know what should be your business page colors what is um what should be the low what should the logo look like and so many like you know it feels nice to have someone up there know you so well <laughs> yeah. I love that it, it really does it's that you you realize you're never alone yeah and Never also the, also you like you have a lot of mind chatter like you know how you view yourself but then they're always viewing you from the place of love so that's a beautiful thing to yeah, the, is, the yeah have those thoughts that yeah you no matter how you're viewing yourself they are always viewing you through the lens of love mm. so yeah. powerful so powerful i love that. i'm so excited for your new business venture that has come through i know that whenever people follow that loving guidance that comes through from the records in terms of where your soul is calling you to go in terms of the next evolution of your business yeah 
Yes. It comes with more ease because you're going where your your soul is calling you. you your soul knows the way. One of the, the sayings I have on, um, you know, I, I put it on the bottom of my emails and things is follow your soul. It knows the way. Yeah. And yeah. that's what we're doing with the Akashic Records is really being able to work at that soul level to find out where where your soul is calling you so you're not driven by the the ego mind and all the societal programming and the media programming and and uh, other people's expectations about where you truly truly want to go yeah and That's it also so helps huge. you cut short the journey like you know instead of go taking those windy paths and you know you just ask your higher self for guidance and it um can you kind of aligns you to the shortcut kind of you know yes that's so true i love it yeah. we're used to shortcuts aren't we we have them on our desktops on our computers and things or on apps yeah. that take us there it's like yeah. that isn't it just give me the just let's get there let's collapse timelines let's collapse time and space and just who has know, time for overwhelm yeah <laughs> quite <laughs> it slows everybody down overwhelm yeah. doesn't it yeah i mean really want to be already living at the our highest timeline where we actually want to be living now let's have more time being there because of course as we're at step into that the next level the next highest timeline emerges and unfolds and our eyes are open to more and more possibilities yes, yes. which is so exciting so that's what we want more and more of that <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for joining me michelle and for sharing a little bit about your story so everyone can get to know you and your experiences as you've done level one two and three of the kashik records and i know that you're wrapping up and completing the certification process so that you can go out and uh, offer this as a service in your business as well i'm super excited for your for your clients Thank you yeah, so much, Lisa. Nice and thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's my honor. My honor. Lots and lots of love. Take care.